Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial. In today's tutorial, we continue in our routing topic. In previous video, you learned how to define the static route from the LAN 1 and LAN 2 to the LAN 3 and vice versa. Let's check the router 0 again, go to the CLI, enable the router, show IP route, and if you remember, let me zoom it for you. We define the static route to the network 192.168.30.0/24 via 172.16.0.2, which is the interface on the other side of the VAN link between router 0 and router 1. And also in router 1, we define show IP route, another static route to the LAN 1 address, which is 192.168.10.0/24 with via the router 0. So we have a ping from the PC0 to the PC2, but we don't have any ping from the PC1 to PC2. Let's check it very fast. Go to the command. Ping 192.168.30.10. So as you can see, I can ping the other side. Maybe the first ping is timeout. The second ping will be up. Now I can ping easily the other side from the PC0. Also from the PC2, I will be able to ping the PC in the LAN 1, which is 10.10 .10 address and I can easily ping. But on the other hand, I am unable to ping 192.168.20 network, so destination host unreachable, because router 1 don't know how to reach to the 192.168.20 network here. Let's take a look at the command by showing round. Here we go, we add this IP route to 192.168.10.0/24 to get access from our network. If you want to add access from the LAN 3 to LAN 2, we have to manually add the static route on a router 1. So sometimes when you have more than one LAN network, one subnet on the other side, it's very difficult to add them manually. The best alternative is using the default route. In a simple world, the default route shows that any route you don't know the address, you go this way or that way. So let's add the default route here and see how does it work. So first of all, go to global configuration, conf t. Okay, we no need to know IP route to 192.168.10.0 slash 24, 255.255.255.0 and instead I go in the IP route 0.0.0 space .0.0.0.0 and this time I set my destination which is 172.16.0.1 and here you take a close look to the command so I remove the static net and put the default route instead and set that any networks you want to reach you just need to go to this interface and reach that site. So let me take a look at the show IP route, do show IP route, and here as you can see the command is show the S, still the static route, but this time we have this asterisk, it shows as a candidate default, which shows our default route 0.0.0.0 is like 0, will be go via this IP address. So every time you see this asterisk you know that this is a default route in your routing so let's try this time I go to the PC2 continue this again ping repeat the ping 192.168.20.10 and this time I got the access and reply ping back so the default route easily shows that how I can easily define the how many networks I got just put the default route and know the destination so I go back to the router 0 and here also I'm going to define the default route. Let's add another network here very fast. Choose another switch here. Let's connect it via the copper cable straight. Pass it to the 0 slash 1. Connect to the slash 24 as usual. Let's add the PC here. We add the PC, connect it again. Interface 10 usually. Go to the here and let's Go to the router one. Okay, do show IP interface brief. Just a close look at the interfaces. So interface FA0 slash one. No shot. 
link is up IP address 192.168.40.250 slash 24 should be okay and here we go do show IP interface brief and our link is up so we bring the link up no shutdown assign the IP address you are now master of these things and fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 is up and up so both layer 1 and layer 2 is up and ready to go let's do the documentation okay let's just select these things and copy and paste got 250 here I've got the LAN 4 fast documentation remember to do these things in your real network as well it's very helpful after one day you don't know what you did for your network and I'm not joking okay here we go we have a 10 and let's assign the IP address on this machine 192.168.40.10 192.168.40.250 which is the interface on a router as a default gateway for this machine so now I'm trying to ping from the PC0 or PC1 let's try to ping let's test with this machine this time ping 192.168.30.10 for sure I can ping because I've got a static route on a router 0 but I couldn't ping the 40 because I don't have any destination for this router zero, on the router 0 I go back to the router 0 and this is a good experiment let's do it side by side I bring the PC01 ping dash t 192.168.40.10 I'm running this ping first then go to the PC1 do the same continuous ping for the same destination dash t okay let me choose from down here PC1 PC2 both no destination unreachable request timeout and finally let me bring the router 0 okay let me rearrange sorry for delay PC here we go and here we go we have a three side by side window and we have only one static route under this router for 30 I said go through this interface or this IP address for destination so here we go let me go to global configuration no IP route to 192.168.30.0 slash 24 255 255 .0. so for sure I don't have anything then destination on which will be showed up and as you can see here both are changed and this time go to IP route 0, .0, .0 space 0, .0, .0, .0 to the 172.16.0.2 and press enter and you can see immediately the PC1 on the LAN1 and PC2 on the LAN2 knows the destination to the new network without mentioning what is that network as you can see here we have IP route, static route through the 172.16.0.2 and both pings are up do show IP route see here we can compare here as well we have a static default route oh as you see the 0, .0, .0, .0, slash 0 you know that's a star or asterisk and it shows that this is a candidate default via 172.16.0.2 and my ping is up and I can easily ping from the other side as well PC0 let's try ping 192.168.10.10 I can ping easily because I have a default route on a router 1 and let's try to ping the 20 also I can ping the 20 and also I can ping my neighbor in the same side 192.168.30.10 and as you can see here I can ping this machine as well let's do some trace route trace route trace out 192.168.30.10 as you can see I reached to the router 1 192.168.40.250 this is my default gateway then reach to the PC on the LAN 3 on 30.10 and let's trace route the 10 side of the network which is the other side of the van link and we have one additional hope first reach to the default gateway same as there instead reach to the other side of the van 0.1 on the router 0 
and finally reach to the PC on the LAN 1. So this was a very short tutorial on a static uh, default route. It is a very good to know how your network works. As you can see here, if I want to ping this PC, I can reach to my gateway and reach here. And if I want to ping from the PC tree, I can go from here and reach here. Because I have a static default route here and a static default route here. And if any networks are added behind my router, any PC on the website can reach to that destination. So I hope this video was also informative for you. Please share our content and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Thank you.